Okay, I can't say that that's faster. It might be. But now, look at this. We got ourselves a workbench. Now, here's the other cool thing, guys. Repairing stuff, at least here in Experimental, is free. How do we do that? We have to look at this little this little thing right here. These little bins, I guess they are. And then you can put your tool in here and repair it. And it doesn't require any resources. So that's kind of cool. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming. And I've got a lot of updates to talk to you guys about um, on Experimental. So basically... I um I did a multiplayer stream live stream on Saturday afternoon uh, with a couple of friends of mine, and between that and also um, doing a little more reading and stuff on the forums, I've I've learned a lot of things about ex uh, about this version of experimental. A lot of good things. Um, so let's see, where do we start? I guess the first thing is is I wasn't sure how to um I'm gonna turn the light off to save battery. I wasn't sure how to get hide uh, in the last episode um, and come to find out the way you get hide is through a, a shard blade. Now there's nothing anywhere in this game whatsoever that tells you that. <laughs> uh, and you know, we started the game off with our, our metal knife and that doesn't even get hide. So I just, it didn't occur to me that this is what we needed to do that. But, um, but I found that out. Uh, during the live stream, uh, one of the one of the viewers uh, told me on the live stream that's what we needed to do. Uh, so that's what we need to do. We need to make uh, a shard blade, and then we can start getting the hide that we need to make the leather strap, so that we can make a little bit better tools from here, including the uh, the makeshift chisel. Okay. Now uh, in the live stream, we got as far as making our forge. We got we got that done, but we couldn't progress from there because we we weren't able to mine carbon, and carbon is important because you need carbon. To make steel, uh, you need carbon to make the pick, uh, which has a hardness of 10 in the forge. Um, and so, you know, we we kind of were at a standstill on the live stream, and we, you know, we ended up just ending the stream because uh, I had to go in real life anyways, and and kind of left it there. Well, I have found out today, uh, both from uh, a couple people in the Discord, and also by just looking on the forums myself, that turns out that if you upgrade the workbench, you can then make a diamond. Uh, chisel and the diamond chisel is hard enough then to mine um, the uh, to mine the the carbon, uh, which is a hardness of ten. Um, so that's cool because that means we can continue to progress. Because I kind of thought you know I was going to be at a standstill here in the single player series as well. Um, so very good news. Uh, and that means we can keep going. So we have a lot of stuff to do. Now you need a diamond to make the diamond chisel, but uh, we found out again in the multi stream uh, multiplayer live stream on Saturday that. You, there, there's a couple of chests buried really deep inside of mine one and mine two. Uh, well, actually, there's one in mine two that's not mine two. You know, the one that used to be called Beta Mine. It's actually not that far in. Uh, there's a chest, and you can pull a diamond out of that chest. So we're gonna go get that at some point. I don't know if we'll do that in this episode, but we will definitely be doing that. Um, so I'm just really excited because uh, here again, now we can continue on. So I've, you know, everything is all just kind of haphazard here. I, I, I continue to set up more chests to store stuff because you just, you know, you, you run out of space and it's just not so. Uh, but, you know, this is all temporary. We're not going to keep this like this forever. So just kind of bear with me. I know it looks kind of janked out right now, but uh, uh, it'll get better. Trust me, it'll get better. Okay, so one important thing that I want to do as soon as possible is I want to make the the fuel cell and the low heat upgrade because one of these will require this not to have to have fuel the other one will require us uh, or will allow us to cook uh, meat and so forth so we need uh, brass samok gold nuggets for this and here we need aluminum and a fuel cell and i think we already have fuel cells now how do we get that stuff before you know before we can mine well the best thing to do is salvage because you you get you get uh, ingots and you get nuggets and stuff like that when you salvage now, here's another thing. You can, um, I, I, I just briefly showed this to you in the last episode, I believe it was, but you can actually use a bashing rock, uh, which is what I have here, um, and, and or you can, you know, make like a stone axe, and you can use those things to, to mine a stone or rock outcroppings, and you get a bunch of rock, of course, as you can imagine, but you also have a chance, you also have a chance of getting um, a, a copper 
silver or gold nuggets. It's a very rare chance, so you don't get a lot, but there is a chance to do that too. But, um, you know, after playing some more on the live stream and whatnot, um, it, it is definitely a lot faster to just simply uh, salvage and you'll, you know, you'll eventually get that stuff uh, in salvage. So we're going to definitely be doing some salvaging today. Um, and we're going to also be working on getting leather too. So it still seems to me like the the crab scythe is, is still the best early game melee weapon just because again it's got that 75% crit chance and it's just a beast in that regard. Um, so we're going to keep using the scythe for now but I am going to need to to replace it here soon because it's uh, getting, starting to get uh, durability down. And I really need to get that shard blade made because then we can start getting the leather too. So let's kill these guys. Okay, so what, let's look at the shard blade. That's priority number one. So we need a couple of rocks. Okay, so let's go find a rock outcropping. I'm going to leave those guys there. Hopefully they'll stick around long enough for us to get some leather off of them. Uh, so we need to find a rock outcropping. Here, let me put my light on too. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, actually, here's some stones just on the ground over here. So we'll go grab these. Now, the bashing stone, really, really good weapon in the very, very early game because it's got a, it's got some major durability. It doesn't harvest um, quite as quickly as, like, say, the stone axe, but it lasts probably, I, I'll, I'll bet you it lasts 10 times as long as the stone axe does. Oh, shit, in, term, <laughs> in terms of durability. Come here, you bastard. So, um, yeah, highly recommend that. Okay, so we can make the blade um, F2. Yeah, so let's make the stone blade. And then to make the sharp blade itself, we already have makeshift patch tape, so we are golden. All right, now we're going to <coughs> sneeze. And then after we're done sneezing, what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, this down on our toolbar. Um, let's put let's put these up here. We'll put this here. We'll put the tape here. So now if we use the knife on this guy, we get alien hide. Is that a beautiful thing? Um, oh, we need to uh, also... Discover him too, so for science points, and uh, get his legs. And there's the alien hide I so desperately was looking for earlier. What are we missing here? Is there another leg? Yeah, another leg. Okay, cool. Um, are these other monsters still over here? Yes, they are. Let's keep, let's get these really quick and just get more hide. Yeah, I mean, who'd have thunk, right? That hide is, uh, or that you needed to use the the stone shard blade to get hide. Now, it might have even occurred to me to do that because, you know, skinny knife and all that. But here again, the metal knife that we start with doesn't get leather or doesn't get hide. So it's, it just didn't register in my brain that we needed a, a stone shard blade. But, you know, you got to love experimental. There's not really a whole lot of documentation that goes along with it. You just have to kind of figure things out. Okay. You know, another really fun bug that's in that is on multiplayer is you have infinite hover. So, so we were actually flying around the map. It was so funny, um, you know, when we were doing that. Okay, so let's go here. We're just going to have to eat more berries for now um, just to keep that or hunger at bay. But we're going to be able to start making meat. I've got a ton of meat saved up. So we're going to be in really good shape for that. Uh, let's drink some water. And, okay, we're back in shape. There, there's another monster over here. Let's take him out uh, to get more, even more hide. Come here, you bastard. Come on. Come at me, bro. Alright, and then we'll use the shard blade. Look at that alien hide, man. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, is that everybody? Yep, that's everything. Alright, now we're going to turn all of this hide into leather. Ten pieces of leather, and then some of it we're going to turn into leather strips. Okay, so now let's see here. What are we going to do? What do we need to do now? We need to work on, okay, yeah, we need to work on getting the upgrade for the furnace so that we can cook on it and make stuff. Now, here's what I was told. Upgrade, the low heat upgrade. Wait a minute. Hold on. Try that again. Low heat upgrade. Okay, so the, yeah, we're going to need one brass, one zamok, and one gold. Do we don't, do we have that stuff already? Let me actually look. Um, okay, not in there. 
We, we have a, a fuel cell, so we'll have that when the time comes. Those are all empties. That's all of our food. We're going to cook up all of, Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have a brass and a zamok. Excellent. Okay. What else did we need? Oh, and a gold nugget. Do we have... Yeah, we should have a gold nugget here, too. Okay. Yeah, I think we can do this, guys. I think we can do this. So let's do uh, the brass. Pull the brass and the zamok out of there. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't even know. And gold nuggets. We got those from just bashing in rock uh, formation things. And we've already set it, so we just need to get our multi-tool out and and actually build it. Look at that. All right, cool. Now we can cook food on here. Um, but we need... See, now it's available to us, but we need... Yeah, we need to add fuel. So, uh, well, and tissue too. So let's grab... One of these guys had a whole bunch of meat in it. Let's grab all of this. And it still shouldn't let us do this because we don't have fuel. Okay, so what somebody was telling me is we can actually uh, use plant fiber as fuel. See, I thought we had to use the methane that this thing makes. Oh, by the way, uh, in the multiplayer multi-stream... Uh, why do, why do I keep saying that? In the multiplayer live stream, we actually found a pool of methane that you can actually just go get, which is really neat. I'm not sure what we use it for yet, but we'll figure that out. So, plant fiber. I probably don't have any plant fiber on me because I've been using it to make the tape. So let's go harvest up some plant fiber really quick. Uh, where's going to be the closest place? Probably just down here. So we should very soon here, uh, we'll use our bashing stone, not have to worry about eating red berries anymore. However, there's something else we can do with red berries, and that is use it along with purple berries to make juice. And it's actually really good nutritious juice, so we'll be doing that at some point too. Um, so we got plant fibers. That's going to be purple berries. Yeah, let's not worry about that now. Let's get a few more plant fibers if we can find some close by. Man, I'm gonna miss my infinite, my infinite hover ability oh. <laughs> that we had on the multiplayer. That was really fun. That was really fun. It's something they're gonna patch, I'm sure, because it's not supposed to be that way. But what I was saying on the stream, though, man, is it would be fun if they actually made an attachment, make it expensive, and I don't care if it's expensive, make it take fuel, but one that allowed us, you know, to use the hover thing for a, a long period of time and i'm not talking about the little glider thing that you can do or even the booster that gives you a couple more seconds i'm talking about something that you could use it and you know fly across the landscape um and again make it expensive don't give it to us for free make it cause you know cost fuel that sort of thing but that would just be so fun because I, I just had a really good time flying around you know with the hover thing okay so let's get back up here we might as well grab these while we can. Oh, here's something else I learned too. If you use the shard blade on a plant, you can still get the plant specific items. Um, like the blue leaf, the blue leaf kind of things, for example. If you just use like a the a blunt tool like the bashing stone, then you just get the fiber. So um, they didn't actually remove that from the game. They just changed how you get it, which I really like. I think that's cool. Okay, so how do we put fuel fuel input? So we just stick this in here like, yep, like that. Oh, man, that goes down fast. Okay, I see what we have to do. Yeah, see how quickly it's going down? All right, here, quick, make some meat. Um... Wait, is it? Oh, it's making the meat now. Okay. Yeah, that, <laughs> that goes down really fast. So that's why we want to make this upgrade. Um, and we have the fuel cell. Hey, wait, do I have an aluminum? Maybe I do. Maybe I have an aluminum nugget. Let's look. Because, you know, I have been doing some salvaging, of course. 
<laughs> there it is, guys. There it is. Okay, now what happened to... Oh, let's turn our, our unwanted bloom off. All right, what happened to that um, that power cell that we just saw? Right here. Awesome. Okay. So now, see, it just ran out of fuel. Uh, now we just need to go here and click on this. And that, that attaches down there. And it basically turns the fuel tank from a fuel tank into like a, like a little battery thing. A fuel cell compartment inside of where I'm assuming an aluminum casing. Now we have infinite power. And we don't have to put fuel on this thing anymore. Oh, man, I love it. I really like it, man. It's just, it's really neat changes. More detailed, more immersive, more, you know, you have to do more work, but I like it. It's satisfying. It's satisfying. Finally, we have some meat. Oh, my goodness. Food has been such a pain in the ass so far. It is no longer going to be that way for us. We are moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Moving up in the world. Let's have a bite of meat. And we have plenty to drink, which is always a good thing. And yeah, we're doing good. We are doing good. Okay, so let's go here now and open up our workbench. We have leather. And uh, we need straight up leather for a couple of things. In fact, let's look at this. If we upgrade this, wait a second, go back in there. If we upgrade this, um, which we need four leather for, then we can use it to repair, uh, which I would definitely like to do, especially because... You know, we're going to be making the makeshift chisel, and I want to be able to repair that. I won't have to remake it every time. So, um, is it possible that I have too late? If not, I know where to get it. It's in it's in the mine right below our feet. And we're going to need four aluminum, too. See, I don't know if we have four aluminum now, because we used that one piece. Uh, all right. So, those are ingots here. Let's put these ingots back in here for now. In fact, I'm going to stick the leather in there for the moment, too. Um, zinc silver oh, oh yeah we got lots of aluminum okay we we're doing good we are doing good i just don't have the stuff sorted or organized very well at the moment okay so what else did we need again let's look oh you, we need two lead to do this and four leather all right let's look that's all extra water there's nothing in those two at the moment I don't see any lead in here at all. Let's put all these nuggets back in here for the moment. Those are ingots. That's just more stone. I'm probably going to actually end up throwing a lot of that stone out. We just don't need it anymore. We pulled these out of here. Okay, so we need to get lead. We can get lead very quickly uh, down below. But before we do that, let's go... In, back into here and for the makeshift chisel we need three leather straps a crude pipe and some scrap metal okay so we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna split this we know we need to keep at least four of these uh, you know to do the workbench upgrade and uh, let's see what else what else do we need leather straps for so I'm assuming the crude metal blade is going to be uh, the same thing as the stone blade, but probably with a little more durability. Uh, oh, and we already made that too, right? Okay, cool. So let's put this here. Uh, we made the axe head. So to make the actual crude metal sword, we need three leather strips. But let's let's make this first. This is the priority. So the crude pipe. Okay, we need scrap metal. One of these crates I have, um, here we go. Uh, so let's just grab a stack of scrap metal. What's this? Oh, that's hose. Okay, that's hose. All right, so let's make, we need one crude pipe. So let's make a crude pipe. This is going to require th three straps, and we make three per thing. All right, and then it also require oh okay we got everything so let's let's do the chisel now this has a hardness of three so we can mine any nodes that are up to a hardness of three which lead is one of those things excellent okay let's put that in our inventory now um since we already made the crude metal blade 
let's go ahead and make, I guess this, what's the dragon truth? Oh yeah, that's later on. Uh, I guess, yeah, we may make the sword. We need three more leather straps. Okay, so let's make those. And then let's make the sword. My assumption is that the sword will skin, but look at it. It's got, actually has 60% critical hit, which is not bad at all. And so, you know, 60% critical hit. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's look at something else. Okay, so this has... 60% uh, critical, and it damages 10, give or take 5. Whereas this guy is... Here, let's put that in our inventory and back out. It's easier to see this in here. Uh, okay, so this guy does 15, give or take 10, and 75% critical hit. So it's still it's still the best weapon. It's just, The only problem with it, of course, is the durability is terrible on it, but... Um, do I have another one of those already waiting in the wings? I do. Okay, so this one's about broken. Let's just drop it, and we'll put that down there. So we're going to continue to use this for our melee weapon for the moment. Now, what I want to see is I want to see if this will skin animals, uh, and if so, then we don't need the, the stone blade anymore. I don't know if I'm going to make an axe at all. Um, well, yeah, you know what? We might as well. We've got the resources. Let's do it because that's going to... That's going to help with uh, harvesting stuff more quickly. It requires six leather straps, but here again, not a big deal. We can handle that. So let's make two six, uh, two more of those. All right, and then put these in our inventory, and let's go ahead and make the, the axe. Now, we're going to pro at some point, we're going to need the shovel too, but not until we actually need to start using sand to make glass and things like that. So that's not a high priority right at the moment. I wonder if the makeshift screwdriver is actually faster than this little welder thingamadoodle. This thing is so damn slow. We could try it um, and just see. Um, later on, we can make better, you know, uh, salvaging tools also. So we're not stuck with this forever. This is just a starting tool. Something I kind of didn't realize when I was complaining about it in episode one. So, you know, as long as we can make better stuff later, I'm, I'm okay with this with that being slow. I really am because it's a progression thing. All right, let's do make one more pipe. Make one more thing of leather straps. And again, what we're going to do is we're just going to see if the makeshift screwdriver is faster than this guy for salvaging. It might not be, but then we'll know. So yeah, making good up, good progress, guys. Moving up in the world, that sort of thing. We love it. Okay, so this takes the place of the bashing stone for now. We can always make another one of these later if we need it. We think the sword will take the place of the knife, but we don't know that for sure. We're going to see if this will take the place of the um, uh, of this in terms of faster salvage. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go uh, down into the cave. Um, did I, do we still have a monster over here? I was he hearing, one, hearing one earlier. I want to see here. Yeah, let's go kill the crab again. He'll respawn. And then we, we'll try the sword out on him and see if we get the the leather with the sword. Right here, Bubby. Come get me. All right. So, do we get leather with the sword? Yes, we do. Okay, nice. So we do not need the shard blade anymore. I love it. The sword will, of course, last longer. Durability-wise. Okay, we got that. What are we missing? This leg here, probably. No, we got that leg, this one. Is that it? Oh. Thought we just could hit that. Is that it? Okay, that's it. How much leather did we get? We got 14 hide. Nice. We had one. We had one already in our inventory. So I wonder if the knife also gives us gets us more in addition to being doing more damage and having more durability. I don't know.
trying to find all the all the parts on this guy. Got a leg there. Got that. I really like harvesting multiple parts. It's more realistic and you get more stuff. You know, one of my complaints about um where was that? Uh, right there. He's not staying there. All right, you know what? Screw it. We got enough. Anyways, one of my complaints about um, one of my other all-time favorite space games, Imperial Galactic Survival, um, is that you know they they have these massive creatures in the game, um, and you would kill it, and you'd get like one piece of meat from it. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, man? Um, so. I like the fact that, you know, we, we can harvest multiple parts on these creatures and get more stuff in the process. Because, again, it's just more realistic, right? More realistic. All right. Let's get, uh, let's put the, um, oh, no, we, we have to turn the hide into leather. So let's just do all that. I don't think hide is used for anything else all by itself. And okay, we'll put the leather in there. Um, we don't need the sharp blade. We're just going to drop it. And let's put the um, this stuff back in here to cut down on our weight. We have some... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's makeshift. Okay, I have that, you know, for, for making more of this stuff. We have an extra piece of meat, too. Let's just put that back in there for now. All right, speaking of meat... Oh, look at all that meat, you guys. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. All right, it's a beautiful thing. What we're going to do is we're going to put a full stack in here and that, and we'll just carry a stack with us. Food is no longer an issue, ladies and gentlemen. It is no longer an issue. We are doing good. Okay, I guess I don't have room to put the plastic in there. Let's uh, let's drop those and we'll put this plastic in here. I don't think we need to carry sticks around now anymore either. You needed those, well, you do need those to make make the crab things. Here, let's do this. Let's make an extra. Let's make an extra crab uh, scythe, just so we have an extra one available when the first one breaks. And then we'll put the wood back in there. And I'm just going to drop this wood because we have a full stack here. All right, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and eat a piece of meat. Nutritional balance achieved. Oh, I love that. Nutritional balance. And we'll drink this water here. And we are in great shape. Let's go down to mine one. Now, buried very deep in both mine one and mine two is a room that's packed, you guys, with diamonds. Like diamond nodes. I'm not talking about the little wimpy thing that you used to find at the end of Alpha Mine in in uh, in the release version i'm talking about actual diamond nodes like what you would find on lutari it's amazing um so yeah we're gonna get a shitload of diamond when the time comes okay let's kill these guys just to get more hide from them. the skeleopods don't seem to be as aggressive as um oh man our knife is kind of going down fast but that's okay we're, we're making the repair table so once we have that made, then it's not a big deal because we'll be able to just repair it every time we go back into camp. Did we get him? Okay. Um. So here we go. Here's lead right here. So we just grab our makeshift chisel. Um. Let's put that uh, here. And we'll mine up some lead here. So anything up to a hardness of three, you can use the makeshift chisel for. But hopefully, you know, we won't need to use it for very long. Whilst we're here, let's grab some silver. And you can also get... You can get mercury out of this this cave, uh, this mine, and you can get cobalt. But we can't mine cobalt with this chisel because cobalt's too hard. We'll have to wait till we get the next, the next chisel for that. All right, let's grab just a little bit more lead. We don't need a ton of lead right now, especially since we can just always come down here and grab it later if we need to. But we'll get enough to do do stuff with. Oh, we need to look at points, too. We need to look at points, even though they're still actually not working. I 
actually, I don't know, you guys. I'm, I might not bother with the points anymore until they're fixed because it really is pointless. You know, we can make anything as long as we have the crafting station and the resources. And, you know, in my in my stable playthrough, I did, I did, for the most part, there's a couple times when I accidentally made something without thinking about it. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I made, um, I pretended like the points were working so I, I wouldn't make something until I actually learned the points. But I think for experimental, you know, why, since that system is still broken, it's it really is kind of pointless. So, um, we we won't worry about that anymore until they actually fix them, and then we have to again. Starvation warning. Okay, so this is mercury, as you can see. Uh, that's cobalt. See, it's a hardness of five and a half, so we can't get that. Okay, so yeah, like I said, buried very far into this mine. Um, there's the diamond room and there's a, a case with diamonds in it, but we can actually get to the one in mine two, AKA beta mine much quicker, much, much more quickly. So we're going to probably just go to beta mine to grab that, but I will take you through here and show you where that big diamond room is at some point. And, and to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure. I, I can't walk directly to it because I'm not exactly sure where it's at. Here's a question. If we use the chisel on here, do we still mostly just get stone? It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Um, there's sulfur down here. We're going to need it for something fairly soon. I can't remember. So let's just grab a little bit of it while we're here. But again, we're not going to load up on it. We're just going to get a little bit. But there was something we made in, uh, in the live stream that required sulfur. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. So let's just grab like a couple... Uh, a couple of these, and then we'll call it good. I'm going to start sprinting around all the place, all, all over the place now because we have plenty of food, plenty of water, so no need to to try and conserve that now. Just because it's it it's just takes so long to walk everywhere, you know. Uh, all right, we should have enough to make our workbench upgrade, so let's get on up here. Okay, so we need to grab four aluminum. We have the lead and we have, wait, we have the leather? Oh, does it, will it just pull from here? It seems to indicate that it will. Here, let's leave that in there and just see if that's actually the case. All right, aluminum is here. Upgrade. And... Let's use our crab tool, or not our crab tool, our makeshift screwdriver. Insufficient re... Oh, so it, we don't act... Okay, I got you. Um, put that away. Locate food supply soon. So it, we do have to have this in our inventory. Gotcha. Okay, let's try the screwdriver again. Okay, I can't say that that's faster. It might be. But now, look at this. We got ourselves a workbench. Now, here's the other cool thing, guys. Repairing stuff, at least here in experimental, is free. How do we do that? We have to look at this little this little thing right here. These little bins, I guess they are. And then you can put your tool in here and repair it, and it doesn't require any... Uh, here, let's put a point into stamina. It doesn't require any resources, so that's kind of cool. You know, I'm okay with that because it took us resources to build the repair table, but I would also be okay with it requiring resources because that does it is a little more realistic. Excellent. Okay, so, um, what is the next step? We got all the upgrades done on here. Um, we could, here, let's look at this again for a second. Okay, so, I know what we'll do. We can make this berry juice. So that requires uh, fern tree berries and red fern tree berries and empty containers. So the other thing I would like to actually do as well is make the the water tank. We're going to need the water tank or the liquid tank. We're going to need this anyway. Oh, man, we need iron for that, though. Okay. Um, Do we have iron in here? We don't. 
We can iron. Uh, we can iron. We can mine it now with our makeshift chisel. I just have to find some. I know it's around. I know it's around. So let me think. What should we do next? Um, let's look at this again for a minute. By upgrading this, can we make new things? I don't think so. Cloth bundle. Yeah, we we can. I've got a bunch of scrap cloth. Uh, cloth bundle, scrap cloth, scrap cloth. Let's turn all of this into normal cloth to save some room. So it takes two per. Okay, so that'll we'll get that going. <coughs> I kind of want to make some of the juice. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the episode because we're already 35 minutes into this. My goodness, we're having so much fun. I for, I lost track of time. All right, guys, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to, in between episodes, I'm going to go out and gather a whole mess of red and purple berries. Um, And then I'm going to, um, let's see. I'm going to go find some iron. Do we have duraluminum? Uh, where's the ingots in here? We do. Okay, so you can see that I have the duraluminum right there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to also try and build a liquid tank. So I just need to go find some iron. The computer screen in the hose, I believe we can make in here. So the computer screen just requires those items. And I have all of this in here. So circuit boards are there. Um, and the broken computer screens are here in the glasses there. Okay, so we got all that stuff. I'm just showing you so so that way I'm just gonna make it off camera so you know so you know I have the stuff to do it, right? Um, and then what else? Uh, so if we go back to here and actually select this, it'll show up on the left. Oh, and then a pipe. So a normal pipe. No, that's a hose. Here, let's double check. Yeah, that's a hose. Okay, so to make a normal hose, um, we need a broken hose, makeshift patch, tape, and rubber. All of which, here again, I've got rubber here. And I got broken hoses here, and I've got patch tape here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go grab a gather up a whole mess of berries. I'm going to build the liquid tank. I'm going to consolidate all of my water into that liquid tank, and then I'm going to make a whole shitload of berry juice in here, right here. So it requires six purple and two red. I don't know why that's not an even Steven, but it isn't. And then once that's done, I'm going to bring you guys back in the next episode, and we're going to go hit mine two to find the diamond uh, that we need in there uh, to start moving up uh, to the next level. Now, we have to upgrade this, I think, to a, either a tool, yeah, to the tool station. So we need wire, electrum, whatever the hell that 6AL-4V chemical notation thing is, and bronze. And I have a feeling... Like, we might need titan. Oh, no, we could make this. Okay. And for bronze, tin, copper. Yeah, we can make all of that. So, yeah, we're going to look for that because I think once we get this upgraded, then we can make that diamond chisel, and then, then we can actually hit carbon because we're going to need carbon big time for steel and stuff like that. All right, anyway, hopefully I didn't confuse you guys. I, I kind of know what I'm doing in my mind, even if it sounds confusing. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.